None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Okay, what if it's uncomfortable though? I I was don't have seats. Your yours kind of do it does. Okay, fine. I guess we'll just hold on with our butt cheeks. That works. Hello guys, and uh, welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. We're just walking around once again in Hogwarts. Uh, oh, this is the music room I went to. Uh, let's not talk about the bell puzzle. We don't we don't talk about that. Uh, I I totally knew what I was doing, and it's all fine. I've got to restart the game, so I might get some starters right now and again, but it's okay. I'll I'll deal with it. So first of all, Lumos. Uh, I don't know where that is, except it's near window. Uh, maybe it's over here. I see a window over here. What? House elf. Oh my god, they've, they've been. Uh, I will actually restart the game. Uh, I'll just pause the recording really fast and then I'll be right back to where I am right now. So, uh. Kata boom, kata bow, kata wow. Wow, wow. Okay, I'll try to do like a cool transition. But I should probably have not said wow and then then. So, I'll just do it all over again. Kata game, kata goo, kata boom, kata. Wow. There we go. Perfect. Great, great transition. Now, there might still be starting, there might still be lagging, but at least that's not because I didn't restart the game anymore. <laughs> this is the game being optimized. It's fine. Oh, did I... did I go in here? I don't think so. Uh, what is this room? Oh, hello there. Oh, oh, oh. I'm surprised my character doesn't react to it. Uh, anything here I should probably... Over here. Merlin. This set of stained glass windows features Merlin, the four Hogwarts founders, and various other witches and wizards of the, the ages. I see. I'm guessing that is the guy I'm kind of following, maybe? Uh, that seems to be Merlin. He's be using ancient magic, I guess, maybe. And those are the four founders of the different things. <laughs> Why does Celeste Slytherin look so funny? Oh well. I mean, I mean Slytherin best, yes. Uh, level one luck. Can't really open that up. Which is okay. Uh, I guess I'll just head down. Hello, fellow students. Pleasure meeting you all today. I am here for a mission of great importance. Uh, I need to travel to Hogsmeade, actually, to get some potions. Although, I don't think I'm going to enter combat anytime soon. Rebellion. This tree, does that have anything? No. Um... Probably missed something back there. I don't remember in the last video I saw something I wanted to go towards, but it's fine. Uh, not a big deal. Although. Quest. Let's see. So, it wants me to do something. To pull, so acquire and use a focus potion. Maxima and use them simultaneously. So, acquire Maxima and a Durus potion. Use them all simultaneously. Okay. Flying class. Finally. Oh, that's going to make everything so much easier. Um, acquire a use of a focus potion. So let's see. Do I have a focus potion? And I might as well try to see if I can't do both. So it is focus. Fo uh, Maxima and Adurus. So focus is different than those two. Okay. This is a Adurus and Maxima. I need to use both of these at the same time. I don't have one of these. Well, crap. I can make one, though. But to do that, I need to get down in out in the... Okay. Oh, I didn't know. Like, Look at the right side. I have, like, animals I can use. And then a broom. 
Oh, well, I guess I'll go to Hogsmeade later on. But first I need Flying Class, because it's going to make everything easier. Oh, look at this visual effect, though. That is very cool. They didn't have to do this, but they did this anyway. That is very cool. I, I, I like that effect. You can even hear that it's like stone and it's rough. And it turns the clothes into it too. That is so cool. Uh, prop to the developers for doing that. That that was not needed, but something they just did. What? Your school years are meant for studying, not long-distance dalliances. Get a hold of yourself. Oh yeah, it's the root letters. They destroy themselves. That's great. All of my siblings have gone on to that. Okay. So, flying class. Uh, these are only requires level 6. I'm a bit above level 6 at this point. Uh, where do we have flying class? Over there. Show me the way, book of guidance. Uh, if someone dies because they just got transfigured into a mouse, does that make it murder? Isn't this the weird hallway that smells? Why does it not smell now? Revelio. What are you? Do I remember you? I think I read something about you. Another time, perhaps. A ah, hello, courtyard, my friend. Anything over here? Wait, why are you wearing like... In Hogwarts. Wouldn't surprise me if new ones popped up occasionally. Revelio. Yeah, because like that guy, like that, that guy and that girl are wearing like Quidditch uniforms. Bit sad that it didn't use Quidditch in this game. Uh, but oh well. Flying glasses, do it. Do you think we'll fall from their broom first? Oh, probably me. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Where do, where do, ma'am, where do I find a broom? Oh, it's Mr. on the ground it's already, it's fine. Attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the toy... We don't loop-the-loop? Loop. Aww. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Did you just thank a broom? Up, up, up you stupid ratty school broom. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, up, up, yes. One it's over, it's raining, ma'am. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Okay, what if it's uncomfortable though? I I was don't have seats. Your yours kind of do it does. Okay, fine. I guess we'll just hold on with our butt cheeks. That works. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do okay. take All care. Right. I had my own the brooms room. are school property. I <sighs> want them returned I in think one I'm piece. The of this. They're, they're pretty easy to control. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Uh, uh, oh, oh boy. 
Okay. Advanced. When you say advanced, this next set of rings flight speed, toggle flight speed. But this is flight speed, so I can I can toggle myself slower. Nope. No. Nope, okay. What a view! Hello. Nice day for a flight. Yeah, yeah. Very nice day for a flight. Brilliant. Ah, this is this. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying this. It's very casual. Like it's very nice, very calming. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Ah, it's fine. It's not a problem. So you control sideways on the left one, but you don't use anything for the. Oh, why didn't you just put everything on the left one? That's a little bit weird. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> Wait, we have a giant squid here? Oh boy. This is rather fun. Oh, well done. Have a moment? Uh, sure. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? No, and you, 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 you thought I was using a spell on you earlier that class. I remember that. You rude, rude person. When we get in trouble? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Listen here, buddy. I know how to fly. No, what? what? Is about I don't have a in. choice. Follow closely now. Right That's a bit now, sad. We're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> okay. Ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. I already know how to fly the broom, and and on top of that, buddy, on top of that, I've already explored most of this school. All, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. <gasps> how is Everett flying so quickly? I don't know. Here's something handy to know: lean forward for a burst of speed. Oh, you need to oh wow. Uh, how, how does one do that? Like this? <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? I can toggle speed. Oh, so that's why it toggles. That's what I meant by that's toggle the speed. Famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture. I, 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 I went up there, by the way. And a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Yeah, also a troublemaker. Oh, we're flying That's around in a circle. Whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. What how are you so fast? I would suck at Quidditch. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Whoops. Okay, I wanted to dismount. I just kind of crashed into it. And where have you two been? In the sky. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you. Oh, great. Good job, buddy. I'm not going to trust Mr. this guy ever Clopton. again. I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. You're supposed to to no. You're not supposed to encourage it. 
Sorry oh, about well. that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. No, they were not. Wish we hadn't gotten in trouble. Perhaps. But we did get in trouble, and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But really? No Our matter. broom instructor wouldn't you notice a few missing a brooms. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I and how would I do that? I'll be weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I think I saw where that was, but I never went there though. Level up. Oh, am I just very close to leveling up? What is this? Legendary armored attire. Well, I guess I have to wear, get my Hogsmeade Hawk, clothes on then. Uh, let's just see. The, the gloves are fine. The glasses are fine. I can finally sell some things too. And buy some more potions. This is actually very useful. Uh, anything here? It, it, like nude attire? What is this kind of attire? Can I put a cape on again? Oh. I'm not gonna lie. I really like this attire. I I don't know why, but I just I just really like it. But now for the ultimate challenge. Does it look better than the adventurous one? I mean this one screams personality. This one is a tad bit, you know. Does it have anything specific on the back? I don't think so. And this one just seems more serious, if you get what I mean. But this one seems more adventurous. Ooh, it's a fight between these two. I think this one would be good if you went dark side, maybe. But this one is kind of how I feel like her personality is. Oh, it's a, v a very big challenge whether or not I want this one. I mean, I guess maybe once the experience is a little bit more death and a little bit more being, getting chased, I could change it to this one to kind of reflect her change in personality. And maybe then she kind of goes dark side, you know? To kind of try to, to again, roleplay a little bit to see, like, right now she has no real reason to go dark side. But if she keeps trying to get, like, if, if everyone keeps chasing her and she keeps almost getting killed... Maybe her personality goes in a little bit of more of a darker turn, and that's when she kind of uses dark spells and stuff. We'll, we'll see if I'm going to do that. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to stick with this one. Uh, I have all of these, but I don't think they really do much. I, I'm going out of hog's meat, but it's not exactly cold, so... Yeah, there's that. Uh, I have the cape here. Did I get anything else? I don't think so. No, no, I did not. Uh, something crazy here. Nope. And head-wise, uh, you can wear that head. Yeah, it suits you. All right, guys, I'm off to Hogsmeade. Uh, speaking of Hogsmeade. This Hogsmeade? That's Hogsfield. Hogsmeade is over here, right? Yeah, Hogsmeade. All right, time to go over. Oh. Library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Okay. Good Read deep. mail. I require assistance with a delivery. And thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Oh, nice. Okay, nice sure. See you, my young corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Uh, okay. Uh, 
I guess we can sprint since we are uh, quite far away from the most laggy area. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm very mixed about the cape. Like, one thing is, it's very cool, but it doesn't flap like a cape, a cape is supposed to do, you know? So I think I might just remove the cape. But I don't have anything else I can really use on, with this outfit. Yeah, I just don't feel like the cape really fits in. If the cape was a different color, then, you know. Maybe I can get a different colored cape later on. But for now, I think we're just going to go without a cape. All right, let's go. Hello there. Wait, what? Yeah, you can never have too many of those. Hello there, fellow people, fellow students. Uh, you are gonna lead me to it, right? Yeah, good, good. The Forbidden Forest is right there. A mount or like a broom would be great, considering that I don't like fast traveling. This one? Oh, I've been here before. Uh, anything hiding back here? Dark Abologist head. Maybe that one actually fits. Does it fit? I mean, sort of. Oh no, the hair clips through. Never mind. <laughs> If the hair didn't clip through, then maybe I would use it, but the hair clips through, so, uh, yeah. I need more Wigan Wall potions, too. A lot of stuff I need to take care of. Hello there, Hufflepuff student, the lake. I mean, there's no reason for me to have the combat spells ready anyway. Unless I get ambushed somehow. And I have no desire to get ambushed. Alright, when hogs meet, get ready for my FPS to drop down to... I mean, I'm at 70 right now, but I would imagine it would drop down even further. Yeah, now, now I'm getting some spikes, okay. Okay, so I am now in Hogsmeade. I need to find the broom area. That's Ollivander's wands. Uh, wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores. Choose your owners in this cozy... Or choose your owners in this cozy cluttered shop run by the amiable... Uh, amiable? And knowledgeable Gerbald Ollivander. A Lavender family, uh, the Lavender family are recognized by the oh in profession of Warcraft since 382 BC. That is that is a long time. The Lavender family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not in the world. Can I go in there again? I can. Hello, the Lavender. How are you doing? Look, my wand and me are getting along perfectly. I wish I could buy whole like like some stuff from you. Is this the broom shop? I think it is. Ah, Wonderful. Yeah, I'm, I'm the new face. Uh, run by the amiable LB Wiki Wikis Wiki Wicks Wick Wicks. This shop sells men of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that LB himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Broom enhancements, huh? Uh, buddy, could you buy stuff for me? Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. 
Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Uh, I see some brooms over there. Anyway, what else can you say about brooms? Do you mind <laughs> I like brooms. About your brooms. I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. I hope we get more brooms. Like, like more uh, things. You said disrupted trade. I think I've seen some of the brooms witches. in the game. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Uh, I'll take a look around. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Oh. Uh, preview. That item is of the highest quality. I mean, I like this one, but I don't like the lamp on it. Can, can I remove the lamp? <laughs> is that possible? That item is of the highest quality. I mean, this one is not horrible. Although it looks like the broom I had before. Uh, this one kind of starts with the wand, though, doesn't it? Because I also have a spiral that wand. Item is of the highest quality. I might go with this one just because my wand also has a spiral. <laughs> just hear the people in the background. Take this to the room of requirement to reveal his things. Okay. You guys are gonna remove this? Actually, maybe not, because I don't know. Golden golden scarf? I mean, sure. You know what? Nice Just remove it. With you. Right, jumper. I'm gonna remove so many things. Forest hat. I mean, I have a lot of orange stuff. They have some kind of trade slots. I don't know how to apply traits, though. Elegant school uniform. Like, I'm going to use the appearance of it, but I don't think I'm going to use the actual model. Or the, the thingy of it. Burgundy critics gloves. I think blue I can get rid of easily. Oh, let's get rid of this one. I mean, I do have... Uh, have one. Good enough? Yeah, I think we'll go with this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom. It matches my wand. I can buy more? That item is of the highest quality. I mean, if I don't like the other one, I can get this one. I'm not going to buy more than that I because I need the money. If I have a head, I can also sell. Any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class. They all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. I do. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I am. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Uh, I say you took Madame Kagawa's class. <laughs> Just completely. Um, anyway, you took Madame Kagawa's class back at Hogwarts? Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did. 
but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me united. And I find a certain set of Pretty teams, I think. over the naysayers who think I'm maybe too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Okay, and why am I the right person for this? Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Okay, and how did your passion for brooms begin? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Sounds worth a try, Mr. Weeks, sure. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Okay, cool. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Sure, I have another thing I can sell, by the way. This one. A oh, green item. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Ooh, legendary item. Quidditch gloves. The ministry's good work if you can get it. Uh, but before I do anything, let me just remove the marker from the map, actually. Oh wait, what? What is this? Flight test. Oh no, 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 thank you. Not right now. Uh, why are you running? Oh, there's a mission over there. When do where what go? Hello there. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. Uh, what did you hear about the forest? What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness. Everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Ugh. Trust me, you hear that? I mean, you are right about both. It sticks with you. It happened, though. Uh, anyway, I'll think about Very it. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Thank you, thank you. Cool. I'll do that for you. As soon as I eat this. No, 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 no. The butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. Oh, yeah, I will. I will not forget. I would be stupid if I'll I forgot. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Uh, no, no problem, Mo. Revelio. Ah, just up here. More money. I cannot say no. Uh, there's a uh, further up. Okay. Okay. Level one luck. I need to learn Bombarda as soon as possible. Can't, oh, I can't jump. Okay. Let me get all the way. This is like a secret door. Secret door? 
No? Okay. I think that I thought it was Dark Souls. <laughs> okay, so I need to get up to the potion person, who is, I think, on the opposite side of this place. If I remember right. Uh, where is he? Is it over here? I think it was over here. Oh, maybe this is a plant guy? Are they the same guy? Oh, this is a graveyard. This might just be a graveyard. Rebellion. I might just have stumbled into a graveyard. Rebellion. Uh, oh well. Can I go down here? No. I just stole some money from a grave. <laughs> Whoopsie. It was calling out to me, you know. It was saying, take me. You know how magic works. Uh, alive money and everything. Pavilion. I don't know. Is this it? Oh, here we go. Be with you in a bit. The Magic Neep card. This card belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being the, in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Let me okay. Guess. You're after something fresh. Uh, I guess. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Oh, yeah, you don't sell what I need, do you? I mean, I actually need some, some stuff here. Uh, I'll just take all of this, and I guess I'll take this, too. Now, you and I'll take all your ingredients as well. You there we go. Okay, nice. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Indeed, indeed. Uh, well, then who did I buy potions from? Oh, we have a potion shop. Uh, which was where exactly? Oh, right here. Okay. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here. Should you need any? Yeah, yeah I know. It's all good. Uh, what let's get some. For you today? So I would like to buy that decision. focus Thank too. And yeah, I'm. I um. I need a couple of these. Can I buy a focus potion? Actually, yes. I need a, I need a maxima, a focus potion. A wise decision. And you also need an Edoroof potion, but oh well, I can't really get my hands on that now, can I? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I should not have bought the invisibility potion. Do you need help with anything? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Uh, she sounds annoying. I'm happy to help. It's fine. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am. Truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. So she also sells potions. Good to know. Level 3 Invisibility pot Potions to Le Wang. I've never heard that before. Oh, from from uh, from the ninja game. What is that called? Oh, they're very old. The main character is called Wang. take up her biology if it didn't involve them. Oh well, uh, you probably know what I'm talking about, but I don't remember the name, so... 
the whoopsies. Okay. I'm gonna return here at some point again later on. Uh, how do I equip a, a broom? Oh, that's not it. I go into gear. Uh, my broom is here. And this is the one I picked. Uh, how do I use the broom then? I guess I'll just, uh, right now, just equip the best stuff and then uh, put it over here again. Like I said, I don't care too much about it. It's just, if I don't do that at some point, uh, it's just going to hurt my, my performance. No, it's not worth it. Uh, is it? Wait, wait, I need to find the gloves. Is it this one? It was that one. There we go. Yeah, it's not even the, the, the items themselves. Can't use that. Uh, do we have anything else I need to do? Again, I really like this outfit. Not this one. This outfit here. Oh, it also fits with the cape, by the way. So if I have this outfit on, I could also have the cape on. Oh, oh could I? Wait, oh yeah, I, I could. Yeah, because this fits with the cape. But yeah, like I said, may maybe I should try to have three different. One for Hogsmeade, one for the Forbidden Forest. And then one for... Uh, that would just be too much, though. Maybe. I don't know, maybe I can try. I'm not good at decision-making, okay? Uh, let me get this. What do I need to look at? This one? Field guide pages. And I can get a hat. There's a top hat. I don't really care much about that that much. Uh, now, though, talent points. Cool. I unlocked this one. So a new spell can be added. Uh, okay. Wait. New sp Oh, spell set. Okay. Uh, increase the range of Revelio. Basic cast impacts the airborne enemies. Contributes more to ancient magic meter. Okay. Locking a spell perfect will send two projectiles back at the enemy. Successfully invading an unblockable attack will dodge... With dodge contributes to the ancient magic meter. Superfire mastery. En enhanced struck with superfire remains stunned for a longer period of time. Okay. Wigan Wall heals you to create an effect. I have one upgrade point. I think this one could really help my meter big time, since the meter is kind of strong. Like, Revelio is not a big deal for me. I don't really care too much about exploring uh, in that way. Oh, uh, to equip my... What? Oh, so I need to open up this to equip my broom. I just fly around a little bit, just to test things out. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> really enjoying this. How far up can I go, by the way? You cannot enter while mounted. This is my altitude? It is my highest altitude I can go. That is super cool, though. I, I am enjoying this. Very awesome. I wonder how it looks with the cape flapping in there. Oh yeah, hold B to dismount. There we go. Awesome. All right, very cool. Oh, look at that. Before I leave, I want to take a look at you. Revelia. What are you? You're some kind of weird bush dragon? Hello there, chickens or hens. That is super awesome. I, I, I really like that. 
Uh, oh yeah, I got this apparently. There we go. What is this? That is a chocolate fork, slightly left behind by Hogwarts student visiting Hogsmeade. These enchanted confections hop around like real frogs, and each come with a collectible card featuring a famous witch or wizard. Super nice. All right. Well, I, what, what is she holding? <laughs> Maybe her hand just hurts, you know? Maybe she's kind of need to stretch it a little bit in a specific way. But yeah, that is also going to... Oh, okay. I guess light turned on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm going to have to end this one right here. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome. <laughs>